Dear friends, in this video, I'm going to discuss about uh, DTD in the success factor. I am not sure about how many people uh, heard about this name DTD. Uh, DTD means a document type definition. It is a predefined syntax file. It will validate with the actual file like uh, succession data model, corporate data model, country specific corporate, corporate data model. Uh, in case if you are working for other models like PMGM, recruitment. Okay, so it, it has its uh, for each and every module it has its own uh, syntax okay so that is the file which will validate with the actual file and when you are validating with the actual file with the dtd so both the dtd file and actual file should be in the same folder so then only system it will validate the syntax okay so let me go to the dtd files so again these dtd files you can uh, download from the helpsap.com so if you i already opened the uh, document okay so in this file we can see that lot of uh, dtd files are available okay so like a candidate uh, data model candidate profile data model and if you come to say a little bit down we have the corporate data model the country specific fields okay so if you go a little bit bottom so we have for the uh, uh succession data model okay so that is we are calling as a uh, sf uh, uh, form data okay dtd so let's see how it will looks in the if i open in the open so i opened in the file so this dtd files it has its own i already mentioned it's a own predefined the syntax okay so for example in case if you are manually typing okay so xyz field should be required so then you need to use the this is the syntax okay so once you enter it so we need to use only this values true or false and again this is the case sensitive so you cannot use the capital letter true or false okay so that is the reason they had given in the bracket what should be the value and also if it is coming to the visibility edit view none or both okay so and also they had given the example okay and also if you're coming to the pi okay true or false so when you're typing in the data model you should be very careful okay but however when i come to uh, each uh, in managed business configuration so if you open the any fields okay so it, these are all very simple at configuring in the ui level okay so here if you come to visibility so here we have the drop down values so view or edit okay so if i come to the mask mask is nothing but pa in the data model okay so here we have the sr no values so in the data model or when you're defining the uh, respective uh, dtd files okay so we have the values okay and also here we have the allow allow import true or false so if i come here so here also we have the allow import here we have the sr okay so that is the only the major difference between the configuring ui level as well as for the uh, data models okay so i hope that now we got is what is the data model uh, dt device why we are using the, this again if i open for the any of the corporate data model so the almost say, say, same things like required equal true or false pi okay and uh, again here we'll be having something called association okay so if you use the association you can see that what kind of value we should use so we should use one to many this is again case sensitive so it should be always uh, one should be the capital letter two is capital letter and again one is the capital letter and also you should use the underscore you cannot use something like i for not like that okay and uh, uh, this is the syntax which when you're configuring the any of the data model for example example uh, in crop corporate data model for one of the field i mentioned as a required equal to true okay so i missed something here so when i click on xml validate file so system exactly throw the error where it is exactly so if you see the other line number 47 so we have some issue so required error attribute value true is not enumeration okay so we need to use the actual value in this field so that is the purpose of we are using the uh, DTD file. So if you are already aware of this all this syntax, if you are writing properly, you no need to validate it. Uh, since my, almost my in eight nine uh, implementation exp uh, project experience, so I never validated. So it's just for knowledge purpose. I am recording this uh, video. Okay. So again, once you click on now XML validate file, so we don't have any no error during the validation form. Click on OK.
okay the similarly for the candidate profiles also so if someone is working on recruitment and other modules for each and every mo uh, module it has its own uh, ttd files so for example here we have the custom we in the uh, job requisition or somewhere uh, if you are using the the custom field so you need to put here the custom true or false okay whether this field is available for the public true or false you need to mention it so if whether this field is a read only true or false okay so like this so you can just go through the syntax or if you already aware of the uh, this syntax so you no need to check with the dtd otherwise you can just cross check uh, dtd and uh, validate the files so in the real time okay so this is all about the dtd files and i hopefully this is helpful for the fashion i think uh, experienced people are already aware of that because most of the modules are now we are uh, configuring in the uh, instance ui level itself even if you take it uh, uh, lms module uh, uh, rcm pmgm so most of the modules we are working on directly in the uh, ui in the instance here and there we need to use the uh, data models so that time you should be uh, very careful when you are configuring the uh, requirement okay so thanks for watching